Hi, I'm Miki from winery.ph and today I'm here to answer a question we frequently get here at winery.ph. Should you put ice cubes in your wine? First, let's get out of the way why exactly people don't do it. Frankly, I think it's a waste of wine. Imagine the winemaker or some artist and he wants to bring you a certain experience and putting ice in your wine kind of ruins that. Why does ice ruin that experience exactly? First off, you dilute your wine. You kind of lessen the intensity of flavors. You change the texture. The tannin structure will be not what the winemaker intended it to be. So it's a waste of good wine, especially if you're paying for very, very expensive bottles. You don't ever see people put sauce on their Wagyu steaks. Secondly, ice just makes it too cold to really experience the flavor profile that the winemaker intended. You could fix it by maybe swirling your glass of wine and awaken the aromas trapped in that glass, but not really easy to do, no? There's definitely a case to make for why, why we shouldn't put ice in your wine. When is it okay? We can summarize that into three maybe scenarios that it's okay. First, your wine has too much sweetness. Second, your wine has too much alcohol. Third, your wine is highly acidic enough. If that seems too broad, let's dive into the specifics of why each case is so. Firstly, too much sweetness. Think maybe a cocktail, sangria or a mimosa even. These wines have sugar in them. Ingredients uh, you use to make them have sugar in them. The wines you use for these drinks are already diluted. So why does it matter if you put ice in them if dilution is no longer an issue? Secondly, maybe you can think of a port. A port is on the sweeter side in terms of flavor profile. There's a high quantity of alcohol in every bottle of port. In fact, to be legally considered a port, you need a minimum of 16% ABV. Typically, some bottles even have 20% of alcohol. And if you don't want to get drunk too quickly, you can dilute that alcohol content by chopping a ice cube in the glass. The modern way of serving port is even to indeed garnish it with something, probably oranges if you're drinking a white port, and then top it off with ice. But don't do that for all sweet wines, no? Think expensive sweet wines like Sautern. Frankly, going back to the start of the video, it's a waste of money because a bottle of Sautern can cost a minimum of 2,000 pesos. What if you were just drinking a regular bottle of dry wine? Your wine has to have a high enough amount of acidity, think Riesling or Sauvignon Blanc, because with high enough acidity, these wines can retain their flavor profile despite being diluted with ice. Fun fact, the French, particularly in south of France, they enjoy the rosé on the rocks. Do this when you're a la piscine or by the swimming pool in English. And if the French can get away with that, you definitely can too. The next exception is when the winemaker explicitly tells you to enjoy their wine with ice. Think maybe with Chanton Imperial, Ice Imperial. Right now, I have a bottle of Chanton Delis, which Chanton tells us to enjoy with ice. The last exception is that if your bottle of wine is just plain bad, it's too harsh, too sweet, flavor profiles off, the only thing that could be standing in the way of you enjoying that bottle of wine is an ice cube. There definitely are scenarios in which we could enjoy ice in wine. But if you don't want to do that, check out a video we did before of how to chill your wine in less than 30 minutes. Most importantly, however, you do you. You drink your wine the way you want to drink it and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. If you like this video, please leave us a like. If you want to learn more about wine, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And again, I'm Migi from ID.ph and until the next drink, cheers!